Hello and welcome to my tutorial how to set up my audio script that I made for VRChat that it's easily keyframing your shaders and a bit of your particles. So what you have to do is just I will just show you something at the examples. So I like some more. So like this I will just turn around because my avatar is standing between it. Uh, yeah, just like there. And when you click on play, you will see that it's... Hello, can I... Uh, thanks. Bottles in a bucket full of ice. Yeah. Better make room, room, hit a Lambo. Celebrate. Shader. Bitch better believe that I'm a sniper. Yeah. You know I'm about to take you from your man. Yeah. Celebrate. Pop up with the chopper and artificial yeah. niggas acting like bitches and it started up an epidemic. Yeah. It don't make a difference, yeah. nigga. We winning. Yeah. I'm plenty yeah. grinning. Hundred million platinum, fuck it. You ain't gotta listen. Celebrate. Better step down to me. Feel the dick, bitch. Open up your mouth to me. Not show. Talk to the dick honestly. So basically, how this works is to set it up. You need like first an audio source. On the audio source, you put your music, and underneath it, you go on add component or just drag my script on it. But you need on the audio source my Neko audio listener script. On the particles, you need my Neko particle script. There, you have to get this and drag inside of here. Have to say its frequency. The frequency go between zero and seven. What you can see here in the cubes, I use these cubes more as an example to watch the frequencies inside of the song. So this one got the frequency zero, this is the one, two, three, four, five, and yeah, the last one got number seven. So I can literally watch the frequencies inside of the song. So you can see that zero is doing nothing, one is doing nothing. Bottles in a bucket full of ice. Better make room, room, hit a Lambo. Celebrate. Better believe it, I'm a sniper. You can just watch on the cubes and then you know on which frequency you want to play with around. So I got the particles now on frequency one and the shader on zero because zero was the, the best. And what the script is doing, so the particle script is just moving around with your simulation speed. So I'm just saying here the, the minimal value is 0 and the maximal value is 1. So it's just going here between 0 and 1. And that's actually what's doing this script. And this script is just getting the, the tr those three values or just the values you definite. So what I show you later so my script is a bit more uh, here I just say it's going min 0 and max is 25 so the slider goes between 0 and 25 so that's just to explain that when I would say 100 it would be going between 0 and 100 so just in this movement so, but I'm staying here on 25 I was and the cubes is just a cube with the scale script there you don't really have to say an object but you can also just drag this inside of here but the script is knowing so here's also a frequency no 0, frequency 1, frequency 2 and here we have the start scale that was 0 so when you play it zero and then it's moving up and down with the scale multiplier of one bottles in a bucket full of ice so that's literally how this script works and when you just play around with it you will find out you can do great stuff with it even the shaders but the thing is the script don't know which shader you're using so when you really want to work with the with different shaders you every time have to open the Neko shader script and looking for your shader I using right now this one and there you can see over here the properties so range range dark X so those three values and here is the property name underline Y underline dark underline X 
Uh, when you open the script, it looks like that. And here is the thing. Every time you use another shader, so just saying I go right here, going on here, and just say Neko screen custom v2, for example. So you, you just click on this little thing here, just say edit shader, then it will just open it. And then you, no, 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 no. You also can do it over there, but it's a bit tricky. So just say Neko. So you just have to search it and then you see here underline all the underlined values and then you have to get this name like um, Neko video so you have to say like online video and shit so you have to really type in the value you want to change it's not that hard but you have to know that you have to get the float name and type it inside of here and then you can use other shaders and then is the problem my script got a few problems one of the problem is when I go into the particles when I just say it's going between 1 and 0 it won't record it for some reason but I can show you quick how to record so just say this is a finished animation you want to do you have to record it so you go here go into the animation clip and just say create animation this will be the sphere one this would be the particle uh, yeah it's just a sphere and a particle and I don't care about the cubes so I go here on the sphere and then I have here something called clip I get this clip getting inside of here, click on record, do the same with this script, get inside of here, press record, then I click on play. And then is the script recording what's happening with the particles and with the shader. So it's basically bottles in a bucket. I'm an idiot. I forgot to change it back. Uh screen yeah, because it also um, I didn't change the name right now, so it will be. So again, just click on play. Now, okay. Because that's what I mean. It won't record other shaders than the ones you say in the script. Bottles in a bucket full of ice. Yeah. Better make room, room, hit a Lambo. Celebrate. Bitch, better believe that I'm a sniper. Yeah. You know I'm about to take you from your man. Don't celebrate. Pop up with the Fire. So. What you do now is just let it play and wait till the end, but I won't wait so long, so I just click here. You have to stay in the play mode and click on this button. Do the same with the particle scripts. If the particle is an issue, it will be lagging a long time, so yeah, because it's recording like literally too much, but I don't also know how to fix that. So now we got those two clips in here and then we go on the particles just say remove same on the sphere just say remove same on the audio script say remove i didn't record the cubes so i just would delete them uh, also the camera i don't need them right now anymore so we got the audio the particles and the sphere i say particle need the particle animation and the sphere got the sphere animation and when I click now on play it will play so you record the keyframe animation and you get here that's what I mean a uh, particular script is recording too much shit what it don't need to so be attention with that uh, I didn't find it right now but yeah it's recording. Oh, that's better to show. It's recording everything and make keyframes out of it. So, yeah. And when you want to upload it, make sure you deleted all of the scripts out of here. Okay. Then you got that. Put that inside of your avatar. Yeah, I don't set that. 
Then I'll just say, yeah, I want that inside of my avatar because I want it as an animation. And then I just turn it off. And now is the thing, that's the biggest problem with my with my keyframe script. When you go now here, uh, oh wait, I forgot, yeah, here, I forgot this script. Uh, wait a second, when you go now on upload, it won't let you upload. The thing is, when you go now, wait a second, yeah, error, it's the SDK is biting with my script. So what you have to do to upload it is just literally every time go into this folder and this folder need to be deleted. So you just say delete. Then you can click here and just say, yeah, I want to upload it. And then you can upload it. Um, yeah, you need to make the animation where you set it up on the F keys but I didn't do it yet. So basically that's how you work with my, that's how you mess around with those scripts basically. Um, I know the script is have a lot of bugs so it can be when you upload it or when you test it too much around with it in Unity or you want to change something in the animation clip the animation will broke. So just don't mess around with the animation clip and just make sure you're you made it one time right and then upload it and the second time it would just broke but the guys want this script so I upload it now I know it have a lot of bugs I know it's just stupid that it got those bugs but I don't know how to fix that it's the first strip I ever done I don't want to upload it but I hope you can mess around with it and I hope you have fun with it so see ya